Lyme disease is becoming much more common, partly because of global warming. The Center for Disease Control says it is the fastest growing infectious disease in North America. Lyme disease is often misdiagnosed and mimics many other diseases, such as ALS, Alzheimer's, arthritis, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, lupus, MS, Parkinson's, and many others. Lyme disease was first discovered in 1970 and is named after the town of Old Lyme, Connecticut. It exists around the world and is caused by a bacterium that is transmitted to humans by the bite of a tick infected with the spirochete bacteria Borrelia burgdorferi. Here is how to avoid tick bites. While in the bush or even in your yard, you can help prevent being bitten by doing the following. Tuck your pant legs into your socks so they will climb up the outside of your clothing. Wear light colored clothing so they can be seen more easily. Keep an eye on traveling companions to see if they have ticks on them. Do a thorough tick check when you arrive home. And be careful with clothing that may have ticks on it. Remove any ticks as soon as possible. If embedded, grasp them with tweezers by the head as close to your skin as possible and pull straight out. You do not need to twist them or coat them with Vaseline or any such thing. You can also tie a simple granny knot around the tick's head with a piece of thread and pull it to remove the tick if you don't have tweezers. Do not grasp the tick by the body to pull it off or you could squeeze some of its stomach contents out through its mouth, thus increasing the chance of infection. The bull's eye rash is one very characteristic sign of a Lyme disease infection. Other symptoms may often be flu-like and may start any time from three days to a month after infection. There may be tiredness, headaches, sore muscles and joints, and a fever. In the chronic stage, later symptoms of Lyme disease may include arthritis-like swelling and joint pain, tingling and numbness in the hands, feet, and back, a constant lack of energy, trouble focusing thoughts, memory loss, weakness or paralysis of facial mus muscles. Lyme disease alternative treatments consist mainly in those activities and habits that boost the immune system. Hyperthermia may be effective and will boost the effectiveness of any antibiotics used. This July, I heard Dr. Murakami, a world expert on Lyme disease, speak. Having had several tick bites myself this year, I was interested and did some research. And I've added several pages to my website, and you can see the address here. It gives more details about Lyme disease. Be aware that this is a very serious and debilitating disease that you do not want to get. You can get to Dr. Murakami's website from mine.